Hello everybody, it's Sean here. Welcome to my Shauna Moana channel. Hopefully this video is not blurry or anything. Alright guys, uh, before I talk about what's happening here, uh, let me just say that um, the Sonic movie was pretty good. You know, I went to go see it Tuesday and uh, honestly it, it was better than I thought to be honest with you. I thought it was going to be like a cheesy remake. Um, but it was a pretty good movie. I liked it. I went to go see it with my friends. We all uh, enjoyed it. I'm not going to give any spoilers. I know some of my friends are still planning on seeing that movie later on. So that's why I'm not giving any spoilers. Um, I, ho I hope you guys enjoyed the movie. It's a pretty good one. I personally give it about, uh, seven, maybe an eight out of ten, actually. It was pretty good. I actually liked it. Um, anyways... Now I'm going to give you guys an update on the BTS concert that's happening in, in Toronto in May of this year. And I'm looking at the prices. And I said last time when I was giving an update, um, or when I announced, when I was talking about BTS, their concert is obviously in May, and the ticket I thought was $180. Well, I'm looking at the cheapest prices. I don't understand. Why does it say $60? What the frick? There's no way that these tickets can be that cheap. I thought it was going to be around the hundreds. Um, okay. I don't understand. Like, is it, does it in total? Like, I do not know how these were. Okay, 12 tickets, 100. I don't understand. These are packages. Okay, those are packages. There's no available... There are no tickets available based on your filter. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm looking at the ticket prices for <laughs> BTS. And not only are they performing on May 30th, they are also performing May 31st. So Saturday and Sunday of May. And oh my god, okay. The cheapest ticket. Two tickets, two tickets, two tickets, two tickets. What about one ticket? Like, I don't understand. 75 to... I don't understand! Holy shit. $961 for two tickets on floor A2. That's when you're standing. Holy shit. <laughs> don't mind my swearing, guys. Really, I know I have a younger audience watching my videos. Um, again, I do appreciate everybody who watches my videos, who takes time out of their day to do so and to subscribe to my channel. And to check me out on social media. I mean, all I use is Facebook and Twitter. But I really do appreciate everybody. And I don't ask for anything in return. I'm pretty content with how my life is going. And nobody's life is perfect. I don't need a big mansion or fancy brand name clothing. I don't need all that stuff. And yeah... I mean, I would rant about that, but let's just focus on this BTS thing. Because, what? No, there's no way that these tickets... Uh, okay, so what about one ticket? You can only get two tickets? I honestly don't understand how this freaking thing works. <laughs> I, I feel so old. <laughs> because I'm looking at this, I'm just like, am I reading it right? I wish you guys can see this. Like, I'm using an iPhone 4, so I can't really do those videos where people are showing you the computer screen. BTS, Saturday, May 30th, 2020, at 7.30 p.m. Rogers Center in Toronto. Section upper level, the upper level, 538, row 11, $150, $75, $75 each. So what is it, $75 per person? But then I'm going to a different, an upper level, $50 each, not including fees. What the frick is this? So what is the exact price for a god dang ticket? If anybody knows how to use ticket centers or ticket master, if you guys are watching this and you know how much one, one BTS ticket concert costs, comment down below, please, because I would like to know the cheapest 
BTS concert ticket. But if not, because, you know, not everybody's going to listen. <laughs> I'm going to find it on my own. But I do have a meeting with my worker next month. So I can try to work it out with him. And he can... We can work out... Uh, we can work out something with, uh, like, the hotel and transportation and other stuff like that. Because I still have a slight chance of seeing BTS. If I don't see BTS, like, if this plan doesn't work, <laughs> which I'm hoping it does, <laughs> um, then my plan is to take a day trip to Toronto like I did last year. I'll go by myself and <laughs> I'll do what I, whatever I want. Because last year I, I went to Toronto by myself for the first time ever. And I think I might do the same thing this year. And, uh, you know, it's always going to be sad if I miss a concert. But at the same time, I'm going to be in the same city as BTS. That's kind of a positive way of thinking it. I know there's a lot of negative Nancys out there who'll be like, oh, you have to go see the concert. You have to do that. I'm just like, it's not the end of the world if I don't, if I miss their concert. Like, I can still be in the same city as them. I can still get their merch. You know, this there is such a thing as online shopping. And if they're selling merch in Toronto of BTS, I could, I could do that. I could get some of their stuff. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm laughing, I'm crying. Oh my god. I'll, I'll keep you guys updated with BTS as much as I can. And uh, next month, I think I'm seeing my worker. But I'm not seeing my worker from the community living until like March 25th, I think. Unless I see him sometime between today and March 25th when I see him. But, like I said... I will keep you guys updated with the BTS concert. Same with me possibly getting an iPhone 6. I don't know anything about that yet. But I'm happy with the way I do YouTube. I keep my videos unedited in case there's a funny part. This is just like, this is my YouTube style. This is how I do YouTube. And um, I don't ask for anything in return. YouTube's kind of like my diary that I'm sharing with the world. Diary, okay, okay? <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> um, but seriously, you know, this is something that I like to do. And besides YouTube, you know, I write fan fictions. Yes, I'm one of those people. Um, a lot of people like it. They just don't want to admit it. Um, I teach myself astrophysics. So I have my book here. And... I'm taking it very slowly. I'm learning at my own pace. Astrophysics, tough, tough topic, and it's hard, but I'm taking my time as slowly as I can. And I made myself a schedule, so it feels like I'm at school. I have to get up early. So um, people who think that I live, people who think that my life is a vacation just because I live on disability, it's not, and, uh, you know, I, I get up early, I have my breakfast, I have a light breakfast, because I'm not really a breakfast person, so I just wake up, I do what I can, I make videos twice a week, you know, Tuesdays and Fridays on my video days, um, but if there's, like, a surprise video, like, if there's going to be a video that I record that is not on any of my recording days, um, you guys just, you know, Make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you know. Um, anyways, I'm happy with the way things are with everything. And, you know, nobody's life is going to be 100% perfect. So stay humble. Stay grateful. Be thankful that you're alive despite what's happening in the world. I'm well aware of the natural disasters and the diseases that are going around. So I'm not living under a rock. Anyways, uh, please uh, please continue to subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below. Um, 
if you guys know the exact price for one BTS ticket. Um, and the only social media that I use are pretty much Facebook and Twitter, so you guys can go ahead and check that out. And by the way, I am not home alone. My aunt is home, but my dad is also home, so they could have possibly heard me throughout this whole video. Anyways, I... I am going to be talking about my learning disabilities next week because it is the last week of February. So I'm going to get right into that next week. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time and I'll give you guys an update on my wrist that I burned about a week and a half ago. So yeah, see you guys next time. Peace.